Hi guys, we're going to do a quick unboxing uh, today. Uh, those of you who have followed my channel on the marine tank uh, side of things for a while will know that I made up a little uh, homemade uh, Kalkwasser um, dosing container. Unfortunately it uh, got dropped and was smashed to pieces and uh, I've been looking for another uh, solution uh, really, I, I, I knew about this Calc King a couple of years ago, but uh, it's it's not cheap. I think it's about 250 US dollars. I uh, can't remember what that converted to in uh, UK pounds, um, but it's in America, so you're going to have to pay you know the price plus the uh, VAT uh, as it comes into the country as well. But I eventually decided to order one and uh, you know just see if it really will do the job as uh, as it would appear to do. So <clears throat> our Kalkwasser is uh, basically lime water and uh, it's a powder that's pretty much insoluble in water and uh, one of the problems is it's uh, very hard to uh, mix. You need to mix it, saturate the water, and uh, you know they will uh, then settle out. You can only dissolve about a teaspoon in a gallon of uh, of water, and as I say, it's virtually insoluble, so it's a bit of a problem. It's uh, also has a very very high pH of around uh, 12 or so so if you mess it up and overdose the tank it's pretty much going to kill everything uh, pretty quickly at that uh, level of pH the uh, tank pH should be around uh, 8 to 8.3 uh, ideally So this is the second generation of this Kalking doser and it consists of the control unit here, there is a large uh, tank where the uh, uh, Kalkwasser is uh, stirred and uh, the you can see there actually this is this has just been stirred and it hasn't settled out again yet but that will settle out a little bit and it will actually top up using that almost clear well, it's a sort of cloudy water so uh, you don't actually want any of the uh, solution like that going into the tank that would not be uh, good um, so this acts to uh, keep calcium alkalinity and pH uh, stable uh, and it can also uh, act as a, an automatic top-off uh, unit. Uh, so let's just read through the features. Drop by drop uh, calc doser, which is exactly what we want. Uh, the pH controller prevents overdose, absolutely <laughs> critical. Uh, smart water auto top-up system uh, delivers fresh water when the pH is high. Uh, there is a magnetic float switch with fail-safe. Uh, pr fully programmable mixing and stirring. In fact, the whole system is programmable. Uh, you can set your pH level, you can set the times of the day when the unit actually operates. Uh, pH uh, drops uh, during the night, so you might, for instance, only want to uh, dose with calc uh, during the night. Uh, it can delete. Oh, hang on, where are we? Uh, it can hold 360 grams for a 20 to 500 gallon tank, delivers uh, 100 millilitres to 5 gallons per day. Uh, an alarm if the float switch is stuck, uh, no calculus of backflow, uh, hang on the tank or sump, and uh, then the size and the fact that it's got a 12 volt DC pump. Now, I don't know whether I'm going to use this on our Kent Marine. Uh, tank or whether I'm going to use this on the new um, Aqua One Reef 400 that we've uh, we've purchased recently. Anyway, uh, so yeah, because it's a hang on the tank design uh, for the Kent Marine, uh, I'm not sure I'm going to get away with that with uh, with Debbie. She doesn't like seeing stuff like this um, near the tank, so we'll uh, we'll have to see. <coughs> I recently discovered that the Senai that I use has uh, been reporting the pH 
to be higher than it really is. We've got that new pH meter on the tank now and it's around about 7.8 uh, generally so it's a little bit low but everything is stable. Okay, I'm just going to stand up for this to see how we get this out. Pretty well packed. This is obviously the tank and the lid. Yeah, it looks like there's a motor now in the uh, in the lid. Let's get this out. Well, at least it's made it from the uh, from the states. In one piece, which is uh, good, at least I think it has. Yeah, it seems to have. We have a second generation supplemental user manual, and then we have the yeah the main manual, which we shall have a read through at some point. And that's the actual main unit. Just gonna take the glasses off, have a closer look at that. Yeah, it's a bit pants and there is really not been <laughs> really not been printed very well. And you can see some labels where it says bypass hours and dosing seconds. That's just been stuck on and uh, that one there, hopefully you can see the label's got some uh, sort of glue bubbled up there uh, so yeah that is poorly screen printed uh, and there's the back in fact it's pretty poorly finished you know all round it's quite scratched there's dirt and marks on the front where it says Calc King. I don't know whether you, I'm going to take my glasses off. Have a close look of the screen. Yeah, you can see. I mean, that's for that sort of money. I would expect at least uh, the screen printing to have been done <laughs> correctly. So uh, yeah, not uh, not a good start. The I'm just looking at these dials here. I mean they don't even line up if you look at you'll see that the dials sorry have got little slots in them I don't know whether you're going to be able to see this but if I put it on to what should be zero it's pretty much on zero but then if I turn it around to fully on uh, it should be on four but as you can see hopefully it doesn't even line up with uh, the four it's almost a uh, a unit and a half, a division and a half back the wrong way and uh, yeah same with the other side zero is about half a unit out and if I turn it around to what should be 150 we're a full division out I don't know whether it's coming out on the uh, on the video or not but I'm, yeah, I'm looking at the LCD screen and I think you can see that that's a whole division out so um, yeah clearly something wrong with the pots and uh, yeah let's look at the difference in heights there this one's up in the air and this one's almost touching the the face yeah you know, this is the sort of thing that pisses me off because you spend a lot of money um, and it's just attention to detail you know that if I had made that, that would annoy me. That I've got the labels wrong, that there's dirt scratches all over it. It's just that that would really, really annoy me. Um, yeah, it just looks very fragile. There's an on-off switch here that looks like it's going to break any time. <laughs> you like very, very fragile. I don't know whether you can see how small that is. It just feels poor quality and uh, yeah I'm just gonna 
stand here and turn this around. There's four screws holding the back on. I don't know whether you can see the, the screw just here. It's in at a funny angle and it's not even fully in. Hopefully you can see that. That's not fully in. That one is and the other two are. It's just attention to, uh, to detail. Yeah, not impressed with, uh, with that. <clears throat> oh, what else have we got? Just tell you what, I'll get all these boxes out and then we'll um, move this out of the way, see what there is. I think that's everything, so we'll just get that box out of the way. Let me sit back down here and we'll go through and uh, have a look at what we've uh, got. So, yeah, obviously the main tank, the main unit, which can be hidden out of the way. Apparently it is uh, programmed, so it should be good to go straight out of the box, um, but we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see about that. And then we've got uh, you know, BNC to BNC connector cable. A the American transformer, so that is going to be of no use whatsoever. That is uh, 12 volts, 500 milliamps. So that will be being replaced by with a UK adapter. Next box is okay, another useless adapter. That again is, uh, this one is 6 volts, 100 milliamps. Just going to have a look at the two ends. Yeah, two completely different uh, plugs, so you can't obviously mix those up. This takes, uh, unfortunately that isn't uh, marked. But it's the bigger of the two adapters that fit, so that is the uh, 12 volt uh, adapter. Uh, 